first. Why won't you just sit still? Izzy, I so don't want to see your face right now. I've been staring at it all afternoon. the other day when I said that I'd help Kay with prom decorating committee? Yeah. So I went to the first meeting and I think she's already annoyed with me. Okay. Not really, what's the word, uh, good at decorating things. Wait, does that mean she's not going to help with the campaign? Oh, no, no, no. She's going to help. It's just, you know, I feel bad because I'm supposed to be helping and all I'm doing is talking about streamers. Is that not what the prom decorating committee does? Right? That's what I said. But then, you know, I bring it up and everyone's all like, mad at me. Gavin, why are you here? Well, uh, the thing is, uh, I was hoping you would join the decorating committee, because then we'd have someone from the campaign on the committee who was actually helping, and I wouldn't feel so bad. Well, I don't know anything about decorating either. Yeah, but you're, you know, artsy. That's a different kind of art. I know as much about streamers as you do. But you, you know about colors and... and, and, and I mean, nails, and, and you, can, you can paint all kinds of things, right? Well, yeah, I, I guess, but look, I, I just don't have the time for another extracurricular. And even if I did, the decorating committee is, like, way down the list of things I'd want to do. Okay, yeah, you're right. Uh, hey, do you know any good books on decorating things, or, like, committees, or anything? No, really. Okay, well, <laughs> thanks. Uh, Gavin, hmm. um, can you stand, like, completely still? Like, don't move at all. Like, like a statue? Yeah, just, just like that. Oh my god, is there a spider over me? No, just give me a second. Um, how about a trade? Can I move? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah of course. Um. I'll join the decorating committee if you help me with my figure drawing project for class. How would I do that? By modeling for me. Not like naked modeling, right? No, no, oh my god, no. <laughs> uh, I mean, even if Miss Lake would let me, I, I film my artistic process. So, oh. yeah. Hello. So, uh, no, not naked. Um, just once a week, uh, I'll go to a decorating committee meeting, and once a week, you'll come over here, and you'll stand completely still, fully clothed, okay. <laughs> uh, while I sketch you. Deal? Uh, yeah, deal. Okay. Great. All right, great. Um, okay, well, I'll send you the schedule, and yeah. uh, we'll go from there. Sure. All, All right. right. Uh, see you later. Bye. But why are we filming ourselves? Well, it's like a living art project. She's trying to document the process of artificial reality and how art is a form of... I, I don't really get it either, but it's Nellie. I've got to help her out. Okay, but we're, we're not doing art. Yeah, but she said as long as we're making something that it doesn't matter. No, we're not really making anything either. We're making a better future for Camelot's school district. <laughs> I'm being serious. I know. That's what makes it so cute. Cute? Did you just say I'm cute? A little bit, yeah. Politics aren't cute. It is on you. All right, we need to come up with an answer for the question, why are you running? How about the current school board president sucks? <laughs> Something a little more inspirational. <laughs> is tourmaline. It is a multicolored crystal made from boron, bonded with a bunch of different stuff. I just realized we have to go to the Natural History Museum. Why? Well, there's a whole wing dedicated to gems, like rows and rows of them. Think of the inspiration it could give you. So you walk in and you're surrounded by gems? Gems and glass cases. That sounds like Steven Universe heaven. <laughs> 
Hello, Central. Did me happen? What? No, it's from a song. Who's Central? Oh, well, back when telephones were first invented, you had to call the central office, and then they would connect you to the person that you wanted to call. How do you know so much stuff? I read too much. About old phone systems? Well, that one came from Mad Men. That doesn't seem like your kind of show. I was trying to si decide how I felt about Elizabeth Moss, but then it ended up to be pretty good. Have you thought any more about the SATs? I just don't want you to get to senior year and feel like you don't have any options. You're too smart for that. I'm really not. My PSATs were bad. I thought they were pretty good for somebody who didn't study. I was impressed. I'll think about it. But it's so far from now. Can we just not talk about it right now? Of course. So, how about Nellie and Gavin? <laughs> I can't believe that Nellie agreed to help him with prom decorations. I mean, if you know, if you look at it in a certain way, you could say that Nellie's performing a civic duty. I mean, sure, prom is a heteronormative pa sure prom is a heteronormative pageant that is designed to formalize social hierarchies, but people like it. Fun is a social good. Now she gets involved, maybe. Nellie can make it better fun. Plus, it's good for the campaign. How's that? Well, if you want people like you in politics, you can't have them thinking that you hate prom. You can move now. Oh, okay. Can I see? See what? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. None of them are finished yet, but go ahead. These are really good. Thanks. So are you uh, going to turn off the camera now that we're done? Uh, I was going to leave it on while I did some design work. Why? Well, it's just uh, I kind of wanted to ask you something. What? Oh, well, you know. You wanted to ask me about cigarettes? No, just cigarettes, uh, special cigarettes. Pot? Yeah. You wanted to ask me about pot? Why? No, because you sell it, don't you? Don't worry, I'm not a Wait, you think because I live in Cornwall I'm a drug dealer? What? No, I, I, I just, uh... Are you? No! Well, Grayson Hand said you were. What? Well, Grayson Hand is an idiot and an asshole, and he's never spoken to me in his life. How would he know? Well, he just said because you always have new art supplies and, and because you have a camera. And... Yeah, because of my job, where I work, not selling drugs. I, I'm sorry. I, I am so sorry. I really, I God, I'm such an idiot. I didn't look. Uh, please, I I, oh I didn't don't, mean to. Don't self-flagellate. Just, just don't talk about shit you don't know, and don't listen to. Grace in hand. Okay, yeah, I, we don't even really hang out with him. Mordred doesn't even like him either. It's just he's in our English class, so... Yeah, I, Gavin, I don't really care about who you hang out with as long as you don't bring him here. Like, metaphorically, as long as you don't metaphorically bring him here by, like, repeating their bullshit rumors. No, uh, I won't. I, I swear I won't. All right, then we're good. Okay, well, um, I guess I'll, I'll see you at the next meeting, then. Yeah, see you there. All right. I didn't know that Gavin was a Republican? No, I had no idea. How is that even possible? I don't know, it's not like we like talk about politics. <laughs> you don't? No. What do you talk about? I don't know. We talk about like sports, TV shows, family stuff, I don't know, school, girls, guys. Guys? Yeah. You know I'm bisexual, right? It's not a secret. Like no. Everybody knows. Yeah, I, I know. I just didn't think that Gavin would talk to you about guys. You know, sexually speaking. Sexually speaking? You know what I mean.
I guess. No, I don't know. Gavin's a cool guy. He's got my back, you know? But he's so... What, straight? Yeah, but also... A Republican. Yeah. <laughs> That's his business. I don't know. All I know is that he's a good person, and he's totally willing to hear me out if I, like, think a guy's hot. So what about you? What about me? Got any girls in the crosshairs? <sighs> no, uh, I'm more into guys. Like, exclusively into guys. Gay would be the word, I guess. You guess? Well, right now it's more, uh, it's more one guy. I, uh, I didn't misread the right? No. So who'd your parents vote for then? I don't know. Don't lie to me, Gavin. I really don't. It's not something that we really talk about. I guess they probably voted for Trump. Yeah. I didn't. Like you couldn't. Well, I wouldn't have if I could. I mean, he's a bully. What, you don't like bullies? No one likes bullies. Sure they do. They're the ones who vote for them. Well, I don't. wonder what Lambert Rake would have to say about that. You think I'm a bully? You beat a guy up. Well, he got in a few punches too. Well, who threw the first one? Me. And you gave him a concussion. No, he got the concussion from football. Okay. Well, you still hit him. Well, it's just, you know, I know I shouldn't have, but he called Mordred a... Uh, I don't want to say it. A slur? Yeah, he said it three times. And, you know, Mordred said it wasn't a big deal, but I just... I didn't think that he should have to deal with that, and now he doesn't. So, I mean, does that make me a bully? I don't know. I guess I think a, a bully is someone who who looks for excuses to hurt people. You know, someone who enjoys it. That's not me. I'm still not sure you should have hit him. Neither am I. Although, you know, when you found out I was a Republican, you threw things at me, huh? Uh, soft things. Yeah. What about your parents? Who'd they vote for? My dad gritted his teeth and voted for Hillary. And your mom? Died when I was ten. I'm sorry. Don't move. How did you even get a key? Nelly gave it to me. I'm sure she'd give you one too if you would just ask. You know, out of all the stuff you've dragged me into, this has to be the weirdest. How is this weird? We're just hanging out and editing like we always do. In Nelly's studio? On camera. Okay, it's art. I'm sure it has some sort of deeper meaning or something. And I mean, okay, and honestly, I actually kind of like the idea of supporting someone on the campaign team for once. You just like being the star of yet another show. Okay, I can't help my natural magnetism, I'm okay? I'm starting to think you can. <sighs> you know, you should do something too. Like, Finale's project? Aren't you supposed to make something? Yeah, I, I think. I, I don't know, I wasn't really paying attention there. Well, I don't make anything. I mean, you could do your army workouts here. Why? Because you're making an outrageously hot bod. <laughs> I don't work out to look hot. I know, it's just an amazing side effect. I mean, look at your arms already. Come on. See? <laughs> I mean, I still have to write my candidate statement for my West Point application, so I guess I could do that here. Yeah, and you could be the star of Nellie's show. We could be co-stars, like how we're meant to be. I think Nellie's supposed to be the star of Nellie's show. Yeah, well, that would just be boring, I think. Uh, we love you, Nellie. Izzy, could you just, like... Sit still for two minutes straight. I'm sorry, I'm just so excited. You're gonna be on the ballot. You're going to be on the ballot! My candidate is gonna be on the ballot! Your candidate, huh? Look, this is my dream come true. 
I thought your dream come true was when your parents gave you that azimuth watch for your birthday last year. That was my material dream, okay? This is my true dream, the dream of my soul. <laughs> We're gonna take down the system. But the azimuth watch comes in a close second, right? Hey, I like nice things sometimes, okay? Oh, of course. I can tell that you like nice things. Oh, you're talking about yourself, <laughs> aren't you? You know, you're not as suave as you think you are. I am very suave. Uh, I, I just feel like we're ruining Nellie's movie. What? No, she's going to be thrilled when she sees this. Yeah, and you don't have any issue kissing on camera? Why would I? I don't know. I thought that you didn't want to tell people yet. Well, she already told me she's not watching it as she goes. She probably won't see this until, like, next year or something. Hey, I'm sorry about not wanting to tell people. Look, we've been dating for, like, a week. There's no rush. I just feel like our lives are so public right now, and I already get stupid comments from kids at school. I uh, you know. Could have Gavin take care of that for you. Ha ha. <laughs> Look, Izzy, it's totally cool, okay? Secretly filmed romantic encounters. It's like, it's like every single thing that old people do to inject excitement into their relationship. So we're exciting. Oh. I was going to say that we're old. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, sorry, I can come back later. No, stay. There's plenty of front room for us to work, right? I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> Funny like a comedian or funny like an idea you have at like 3 a.m. that you find so profound? Um, funny like you, I guess. <laughs> I'm not funny. Well, maybe that's the wrong word, but you guys both like say these things that I would never think of. Like when Gareth was little, he wrote a note to God and he put a quarter in it. And then when I found it, he was like, well, with everyone praying in the world, I needed something to make mine stick out. <laughs> How old was he? Mm, four or five. We didn't really go to church much after he started elementary school. Wait, I thought you went to Mordred's church. Well, I'm the uh, assistant Sunday school teacher there. Really? Really. It, it, it's not the same church I went to when I was a kid, but, you know, I just go with him, you know, if I stay over his place on Saturday nights. Wait, so does that mean you're, like, really religious, then? I guess. Uh, I honestly don't think about it much. But you teach Sunday school. I like the people, and you know, I, I want to help out. Mostly I just pass out crayons. I cannot believe you are a Sunday school teacher. A Republican Sunday school teacher. What about you? Do you go to church? Oh, no. I'm agnostic. Is that like being an atheist? No, it means um, I don't really know what I believe. I don't know if I ever will. Or, I don't know, I... Maybe I'd, I'd like to believe in something. What about your parents? Sorry, I mean, uh, what about your dad? Don't be sorry for mentioning my mom. I just didn't want to upset you. Well, mentioning her existence isn't going to upset me. It's not like I'd forget she's dead until you bring her up. What about your parents? Are they religious? Yeah. Well, my dad is Presbyterian, kind of. He's not too big on going to church. He goes to my grandma sometimes. Uh, my mom, well, she was Jewish, and she was pretty observant. It's hard to remember. We, we, we didn't keep kosher or anything, I don't think, but well, we did used to uh, go to my aunt's for Passover and Yom Kippur. But you don't anymore? Fell out of the habit. Hmm. Oh, and she, she used to wear this um, Star of David necklace sometimes. Yeah, when, when she died, I, I wore it too, everywhere. 
You're not wearing it now. I lost it on the roller coaster when I was 13. And it's too bad. It, it would have been nice to have something to represent. You know, not, not what I believe, but, you know, what I might believe in if I did. I, uh, I have to get some more red paint. Your stupid hair. Uh, I could dye it. No, I I didn't mean you. You sure? Any color you like. Could be <laughs> could be red. Could be green. Wow, do they make green hair dye? Paint? I'm sure they do. We could primary colors. We could make primary it colors. Yeah. You're learning. You're well, right. prom decorating Wait, green committee. Green is the one though. No, no, we'd use we'd use the primary colors yeah. to get me to green. We'd get them. oh, okay, good. Can you try it? I have it right here. You want to make some green? <sighs> Come on. I know you want to. Uh, <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm too nervous. I can't do it yet. All right, here we go. Here we no, go. No, no, wrong one. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I was just, I was just uh, getting the rest of the red off this brush. Here, here, here. here we go. Yeah. A little of the blue, uh -huh. in a little of the yellow, uh -huh. in a little nope. of nothing <laughs> else. Mix the green. Look at it. That's how frogs are made when two crayons get together and fall in love. Yep. I guess. Hmm. I figure that by the time you realize this is me, the statute of limitations will be up on being pissed at me now. Hey, what you doing? I was just working on some platform ideas. Uh, didn't we already do that? Well, I'm working on more specifics. Like what? I was thinking about the curriculum. Maybe adding some new electives. The class on the B poets. The Communist Manifesto. <laughs> I'm not adding a class on the Communist Manifesto to my platform. Why not? It's historically relevant. That's why we cover it in European history class. <laughs> <laughs> Figures. Only a month into the campaign and you're already running to the center. Look. I'm all about expanding the curriculum, okay? It's part of the platform. Just so long as you don't have to deal with any activist material? Hey, I thought that you were all about fighting Eurocentrism. Isn't the Communist Manifesto pretty Eurocentric? I'll work on that. <laughs> hey, so about prom. Oh, I'm going with Vera. Good, I'm going with Nelly. Good. I know that it's my whole deal, like... We can't go together. But oh, so you think that if you asked me to go to prom, I'd say yes? You totally would. You know that you would. I don't know if I could date a Marxist. You're really ruining this whole romantic vibe that I was going for. Oh, so, so you were going to romance me, Mr. Hammer. By all means, please continue. What I was trying to do was to give you this. I figured it's a way for us to be together at prom when we can't be together at prom. Look, it's stupid, I know, okay? Prom is stupid. It's this grand thing that we've all built up in our heads. With a weird focus on the social norms of sexuality, but... I love it. Good. <laughs> Me again. Do you mind if I work in here again? No. Didn't cause any problems last time. Cool. <laughs> so, what are you working on? A uh, music player. Mm -hmm. Really? Like, you can do that? Yes. Yes, I can. Mm -hmm. Well, why not just use iTunes? 
Well, I mean, it's helpful to know how to build your own stuff. You never know my... It's helpful to know how to build your own stuff. You never know what it might come in handy. Plus, iTunes sucks. Oh. Well, yeah. I guess there's that. So, what kind of music do you have on there? Oh, Primal Fear, Scar Symmetry, Into Eternity, Metal Bands. Did you buy me red paint? Should I have? No, I can buy my own paint, but, but there's a new tube of cadmium red that wasn't here last week, and I told you I needed more. I didn't, I swear. Well, do you know who did? No. What's up? What's up what? I mean, why are you here? Uh, Sunday afternoon. <laughs> yeah? Modeling time. <laughs> oh. That's done now. I I have all the sketches that I need. I'm sorry. I I, I guess I thought that because the decorating committee meetings were over, this half of the deal was over too. I should have let you know that you were off the hook. Oh. Uh, okay. Well. Um, thanks for helping out the prom. Thanks for sitting so still for me. Okay. Well, I'll I'll, I'll let you get back to it. Um, if, yeah. if you wanted to stay and just hang out, that'd be okay. I, I wouldn't be in your way? No, I'll work around you. Alright, stay I will. <laughs> um, this might be a weird question, but maybe. Um, but I haven't heard about you dating anyone. Um... Uh... Well, I dated Bertha Green for a little bit, but it just didn't really go anywhere. And then, uh, I also had probably the worst first date ever with Abby Marsh. It was bad. But no one seriously? I guess... I just don't really know what girls want. That's because there's no such thing as what girls want. Different girls want different things, just like boys do. Well, what do you want? Well, from guys, or just in general? In general. to be totally in control of my life. What do you want? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it was. I'm really glad you convinced Vicky to go, and she convinced me to go. <laughs> Wait, I thought you were into that whole, like, experiencing entertainment for the masses thing. I still wouldn't have gone without Vicky. Oh. Young love. Didn't you break up with your boyfriend, like, two oh. days before prom? Okay, first of all, he was not my boyfriend. <laughs> and second of all, we all had a much better time without him there hanging on my arm the whole time. Trust me. <laughs> I trust you. The only real thing I wanted to hang on my arm was a Louis Vuitton handbag. But alas, it was not meant to be. Louis Vuitton. Why does that sound familiar? Uh, they make, they're a designer and they make all sorts of, like, clothing and stuff, but they're really famous for their handbags. Handbags? You mean, like, purses? Exactly. I think I have one of those. Wait, you have a Louis Vuitton handbag? Well, I think that's what it said on the name on the, I'm pretty sure that was the name on the clasp. How? Well, my dad got it for me, like, two Christmases ago, but I just stuffed it into my closet. Are you telling me it's actually worth something? Can I touch it?
get sugar free. Likely story. Hey, Izzy. Yeah. Do you want to go to church with me? Do I want to what? No, I, I was just thinking, and it's like, church is this huge part of my life, you know? And I just thought that I'd kind of like to share it with you. I mean, there's not really that many places that we can be in private, and it's not like people really think of church as romantic. So I was thinking it could be kind of like a date. I guess I just didn't realize that you were so religious. What? There's, there's like... 12 pictures of me at church on the campaign website. Yeah, but I just thought that was like something that you did. Right. Because I'm religious. Okay, well, you do know that I'm like really, really an atheist. And <laughs> organized religion is just... <sighs> oh, why am I not surprised? What is that supposed to mean? Ah, it's just that it's, it's very... Very you. How? Okay, anytime that we have a discussion about anything... You always have to have the most radical opinion. It's not, it's just... Look, I don't believe in God, okay? I'm not trying to be edgy, I'm just an atheist. Okay. Alright, I'm sorry, but... Does that mean that you can't go to church with me? No, yeah, I can go. I just think we should reward people for hard work, right? But we don't reward people for hard work. We reward them for their luck. Well, Vera says there's no such thing as luck. Yeah, but you don't think that, do you, Mr. Smelling Game Socks? Well, okay, but even that, like, if someone's really successful and they work really hard and they, like, start their own business, or, or if you study really hard and you get good grades, that's not luck. And even me, yeah, I wear my socks. I like them. But when I go into the game, you know, that's after practicing really hard. So if I win, not luck. But I'm not saying work doesn't matter. I just think that luck matters more. I think work matters more. <laughs> well, you just think that because you're lucky. Ah, not that lucky. Because, like, I've never won off a of scratch off. <laughs> Ever. No, I mean, like, you're probably more likely to start your own company than most people. But not because I work hard? No, because... Okay, think of it like this. Um, there's two kinds of luck. There's the wild kind, like winning the lottery. And there's the luck that you're born with. Like being a rich, white guy in Camelot. And to get anywhere, you have to work hard, yeah. But mostly you just need to get lucky. And if you're not born with it, you have to make do with the wild kind, but you can't count on the wild kind. I mean, working hard will make it a little more likely, yeah, but you can work your ass off, like, your whole life and never get lucky when you need it. But you don't have to worry about that because you were born with all the luck that you need. Does that make sense? I guess. Uh, sorry, I'm distracting you. Oh. <laughs> I, that's fine. I'm usually pretty good about painting and talking. I'm even uh, one of those people that can rub my belly and pat my head at the same time. <laughs> yeah, but you probably get tired of answering all my dumb questions, though. No, I don't mind you asking me questions. You don't? No. Because when you ask them, you really want to know the answer. Why else would I ask questions? I wish I knew. You said you had one Louis Vuitton handbag. I forgot about the one he bought me for my birthday, too. And they're not all Louis Vuitton. There's uh, <gasps> something else. Oh, Calvin Klein. I hate you. But you're saying they're actually worth something? <sighs> 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 a 
Okay. Like, all of these together on eBay could get you maybe like two or three grand. I could get a solid state drive. I could get a solid state drive with actual memory capacity. This is tragic. Like, this is a tragedy. I have some dresses at home too. Can you come over and tell me if they're actually worth anything? But you could wear them. I don't want to wear them. I want a, I want a new solid state drive and a graphics card and new speakers. Fine. At least they'll go to someone who actually loves them. Take me to the designer goods. Gavin, what? I was like, you said, you said, you said, I, didn't, I didn't know if you would be here, or, or I thought you might be inside your house, or maybe out, and I didn't have my phone on me, and I wasn't sure if, if your dad would see Wait, me or if you would Gavin, calm down. Well, what's going on? Look, I can't stay at my house tonight, and, and usually I stay with Mordred, but I just, I don't know, with the campaign and everything, I wasn't sure if that would be okay, so I just... What, what happened? What, why can't you stay at your house? Look, I, I, I just can't stay there tonight, okay? I can't. Not tonight. Where's Gareth? He's, Is he he's okay? fine. He's gonna be fine. It won't matter for him. It's just if I didn't get out of there, things were gonna get really bad. So I just look. I was wondering. I didn't know this is a lot to ask. Could you think I could stay here in the studio tonight? I'll be out by first thing in the morning. I swear. I just, I just need to give him time to sleep. Well, there, there's no bed here. There's not even a couch. Yeah, it'll be okay. I don't. I don't know what's going on, but I really think you should like come into the house with me and have some cocoa or something. What about your dad? He won't mind. No, I think, I think it'll, be, it'll, it'll be fine out of here. Gavin, please come into the house with me. People should be cool with each other. I don't know. I think Vicky finds Vera like intimidating. Vera's not intimidating. I boss her around all the time, and Vicky does too. I've seen her do it. Not like that. I think Vicky just looks at Vera and sees a standard she can never live up to. Well, that's silly. No one's comparing them. I know. I told her that. I told her how smart she is and how talented and funny, but I guess when someone starts getting used to thinking like that, it gets really hard for them to start thinking differently. Well, Maybe it's not something someone can tell you. Maybe she has to be able to see it for herself, you know? Like, I know I have amazing fashion sense, but that's because I can look in the mirror and see that. You think Vicky needs a success to measure herself by? Wouldn't hurt, would it? She's already killing it as outreach coordinator. I know, but she won't know how well she's killed it until Mordred wins the election, and that's months from now. She needs something with more immediate results. You sound like you have a plan. I do. I think. Should I be worried? Of course not. Okay, I like you, but if you hurt my girlfriend, please remember that I can ruin you with nothing more than my fingertips. Okay, I know you haven't known me very long, but trust me, my plans always work. to connect with the voters. You can't just put a puppy on the front page. Why not? People love puppies. Some people love kittens. Okay, are you trying to tell me that there are people who love kittens and not puppies? Maybe I am. Oh my god. You are a puppy hater. You have, what, some some political stand against puppies? You're just trying not to alienate dog lovers, oh, aren't you? Oh my god, why are the two of you even here? We're working on the website. You know, making stuff for your movie. It's not a movie. It's living art. You know what? Can, can you just go, like, anywhere else? I'm trying to study. Do you want some help? A coffee? Ah, uh, fine. You win. I'm going inside to study. 
finally alone. She should be all right. She's fine. I <clears throat> I had to help Gavin with his homework. He's really worried about his grades. Please. There are schools lined up to take Gavin for his athletic skills alone. Yeah. They have a GPA minimum. <laughs> it can't be that bad. No, it's not, but I don't know. It's just really important to him, so he gets anxious about it. I have to make sure that he's solid on the material so that he doesn't like, freak out. You sure that she's going to be okay? She'll be fine. Her grades are better than mine. They're probably even closer to yours. I meant emotional. Have you ever tried to give Nelly emotional support? No. Look, I have. She doesn't want it. She wants to have her freak out in private and then just move on with things. She's fine. She just views every test as like some barrier between her and getting out of Cornwall. Huh? Well, she needs a scholarship to be able to afford school. Oh. Right. Okay, look, are, are you Dude, sure you that she's fine? Please believe and trust that I know what I'm talking about. If you're sure. I'm sure. She doesn't want any help from us. All right. I was hoping the when you're gone, you're small. Yeah, they gave you the speech once about how the way we pay people is like totally backward. You know, people who have pretty awesome jobs, like making laws or writing software, acting in blockbusters, whatever, they make a lot of money. But the people who have jobs that like pretty much suck, like janitors, they make hardly anything. She said we should make it a rule that the more you enjoy what you do, the less you get paid for it. But what if a janitor really loved his job? That's that's a problem I didn't consider. Hmm. Anyway, I don't think she really believed it. She was just riffing. Riffing? Yeah, sometimes Hannah likes to try out an idea and see how it feels. Kind of like playing intellectual dress-up. What about you? I never riff. <laughs> I mean, what do you think about how we should pay people? Um, I mean, I definitely think people should get paid for their art. So that pretty much destroys the whole concept of not paying people for the things they enjoy. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I'm a pretty big fan of a guaranteed basic income. What's that? Like, the government giving everybody a minimum wage, no matter what. Like, even if they didn't work? Yeah. It's guaranteed, that's the point. Yeah, but that doesn't really seem fair. Well, you don't have a job, right? Mm -hmm. But... You probably won't have to take out student loans when you go to college. Someone else will, though, because their parents don't make as much as yours do. Is that fair? No, but... But what? Isn't the idea of, you know, making it for yourself out there, you know, without any help, isn't that kind of nice? Nobody makes it out on their own. <sighs> I don't know. I just think that working for everything you got and building yourself up from nothing is... I don't know, it's, it sounds good. Well, if you really feel that way, why haven't you run away and struck it out on your own already? Why haven't I run away? Shit, Gavin, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I, no, I, I, I really didn't mean it like that. I wasn't thinking. But I, I could do it, right? You know, I could just just go. I'm, I'm 18. I could leave if I wanted to, but I haven't. Well, you wouldn't have anywhere to live. Uh, no, I've got friends. I mean, I could crash with them until I got a place of my own. Do you know how hard it is to work enough hours to pay for rent and food and go to school? Right. Well, I I drop out, and then people still get GEDs, oh, right? Oh, please tell me you're not going to drop out. No, I'm not. I mean, that seems really hard. Uh, but I guess I get what you're saying. You know, the idea of starting without anything and building yourself up, it, it's not all it's cracked up to be. What was the thing you were talking about, the uh, the pay everybody money plan? Guaranteed thing? basic income. Guaranteed basic income. Thing. I think that sounds good. Yeah, I'd, I'd do that. What? What's it called when you say something but then you do the opposite thing? It's uh, it starts with an H. It's uh, yeah. Hypocrite. Hypocrite. So. Does that make me a hypocrite that I take my parents' money, but then I complain about them? No, no. But if it was really that bad, I would just leave, wouldn't I? And, the, you know, I'm not, so... It... 
can it be that bad? Well, that, that, I shouldn't be complaining, Gavin, right? Gavin, that, that's not what I meant at all. But it's true, though. Well, it's not supposed to be a decision. It's not supposed to be a choice between graduating and getting hurt. Your parents are just supposed to take care of you. And, and you wouldn't leave Gareth anyway, would you? No, I, I wouldn't leave Gareth. And to tell you the truth, I probably wouldn't want to leave them either. You wouldn't? Well, I love them. I mean, despite all the, uh, everything, I, and I, I know they love me too. Thanks for, uh, talking about this with me. There's actually not a lot of people that I can talk to about this. Of course. Yeah, I can't see them, but I'll get them back. What's up? Why do I want to be a West Point cadet? Because you look great in army green. I'm gonna go call more. Okay, <laughs> honestly, I don't know. You've never told me why you wanted to go to West Point, and I mean, you tell me. It's too big to answer. I I've wanted to go to West Point ever since I figured out what it was. Okay. You know what I do whenever I have a block about what I want to do for my next vlog? You're never blocked. Yes, I am, believe it or not. And when that happens, I close my eyes and I imagine myself in my dream outfit and I'm a character on Gossip Girl, if you know Gossip Girl didn't suck. You shut uh, up about Gossip Girl. Never. Okay. <clears throat> close your eyes. No, for real. Close your eyes. Okay. Now, imagine yourself at West Point. How is your life different? How has it changed from what it is now to what it is at West Point? All right. Got it? Yeah. Now break down that feeling. Thanks, Kay. I know I am the best. don't. I'm literally the worst person to throw a party. I hate parties. Have you ever been to a party? No, because I hate them. It's not a party anyway, it's a mixer. You'll be great at it, you know more than you What are you I'm telling you that I think you're being a little paranoid? It's not even your- Oh, hey. Hey guys. What are you even doing here? I'm giving Nelly footage. What about you? Yeah, same here. What were you guys arguing about? We weren't arguing. It's nothing. Just campaign stuff. Yeah, so uh, I, I think I'm going to go. It was great seeing you guys. Um. Diva candidates. Hard to believe I even manage my track records worse than average. Is it a sign our love is dying or that we're doing fine? It's nice to finally get back to painting. You've been painting all year. Yeah, for class. Now I get to paint for myself. What, you don't like painting me? No, I love mm -hmm. painting you. But now I can paint you any way I want. Like, on a spaceship. Or completely in neon. Or with Picasso eyes. Uh, you've been pretty much painting me already. No, I haven't. Uh, yeah, you painted me here and here and here oh. and here. <laughs> oh, here, I'm maybe. sorry. Oh, in here. I'm no, sorry. it's okay. You've been painting yourself too. But don't. No. Um. Sorry. Uh, are you okay? Uh, uh can can just, you just uh can, can you just go? Sorry, I'm 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 really sorry. Can, I, can, I, can you uh, leave? No, I'm I'm, I'm uh, uh, sorry. Uh, Is it really worth a challenge? Is it a sign our love is dying or that we're doing fine? I'm starting to think.
fuck. Okay, so everything for the QME is done. Where's the SO? Stab that printer, I'm going to crush it. That's okay. I don't need to have that till September anyway. Okay. Uh, everything for the nomination appointment is sent in. I did everything for the SLE yesterday. Grades aren't in yet, so I can't send in the transcript. CFA is scheduled. Field force interview is scheduled. Should probably practice for that. Vicky Strong. I'm the outreach coordinator for Hi, I'm Vicky Strong. Thank you so much for coming today. That's a great question. Mordred believes that education is a huge priority and worth funding well. Okay, I hate you so much and this was a terrible idea. Okay, so I, I know this is usually for making things, and but I just thought this would be better than a note. Uh, I just registered as a Democrat. This is a copy of my form. Look, I know you're not happy with me right now, and I understand that, but I just wanted you to know that I listened to everything you said, and just thank you so much for, for answering my questions and just in there. Got it. Oh. Sorry, I, I was just leaving. I, uh, uh, you probably want this back. So. Oh, keep it. Ah, come on, you don't want me around here anymore. But that's not... It was just a little much. I didn't mean... I don't mean... I... I... I want you to be able to come here if you ever really need to, no matter what. in like one day. You think it's from the meet and greet? I know it is. I saw all these people there. Really? Look, come on, you don't recognize them? Look at her. I talked to that woman.
Miss Strong. First question, which designer do you think made the best showing at Paris Fashion Week? Please take this seriously. Okay, they could seriously ask you that. Do you have a list of questions I gave you? Yes, I do, but if I give you all of these questions, you're not going to be prepared for the element of surprise. Fine, but I'm making Mordred do it my way. I bet Mordred always did it your way. Okay. Okay, first question. If you could change one thing about the United States Army, what would it be? They're not going to ask that to a cadet. Are you going to talk to your interviewer like that? No. No. You're going to answer the questions that they give you. If I could change one thing about the army, I don't have the on the ground experience you know, to know what needs improved, but every system has its flaws and you read in the news about the discrimination, the sexual assault, the code of silence, the abuse. I believe the army serves a necessary function, but it could use improvement. And when I'm in the army and I'm educated, I want to be a leader and I want to make it better for the soldiers and the people they protect. Hmm. Come on, man, why are you turning that on? Yeah, that's what it's there for. Uh, it's there to be like filming when we're making something. Hey, I am making something. I am making a political statement, and that is that uh, that that they all suck. They're they're uh, what's 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 the word? No, you know, you know the word that the word that uh, they're all uh, you know they want to be better than you, and they're not. They they make you don't feel like they're so much better than you. Uh. He's kind of the word guy. I don't know. Hey, who are you texting? Uh, I'm not texting. I'm just looking up playoff results. Are you liar? Are you texting Vera? I'm not texting anyone. Okay. All right. I trust you. You're just so... Oh, patronizing. I'm patronizing? No, no. That, that, that's that's the word. Like, uh, that I was thinking of before. Hi, Mordred. Ooh, we're going to go out to dinner for your birthday. And look at well, what a family we are. And meanwhile, my dad can't even look at my mom in the eyes. We got friggin' Lance and Gwen just making these concerning looks. I don't get why was Lance even there? Well, he is your godfather, so. How do you do it, man? Do what? Lacrosse? No, like I, I never hear you complaining about family shit, and it's like. You have a reason to. I mean, you have way more reason than I do. Hey, I'm, uh, I'm sorry that my dad doesn't let you come over as much as my uh, mom used to. It's, it's okay, man. You okay? I mean, I need to know that you're, you're okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. Good. Is he? Liar, you did text somebody. Sorry. What are you guys even doing here? We had to put a little distance between Mordred and his family. The uh, birthday dinner didn't go so well. But why here? Well, Nelly said I could use this place whenever. So. Uh. <clears throat> hey, Mordred. Drink this. Can't tell me what to do. Fine. Don't drink this. Ho ho ho! Reverse psychology! The worst psychology. Thanks for coming. Campaign manager's job is never done. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna step outside for a minute. Ugh. Why? Uh, a little cross drill. It's like 11 p.m. Yeah, well, little cross doesn't sleep. So. Ugh. Why'd you do that? Do you like me? Do you like me? I asked you first. Of course I like you, Mordred. 
I more than like you. You don't like my church. You don't like my not church. But I like you. And I like you. Okay. Yeah, right here. Okay. If you could talk to any one person, living or dead, who would it be? Dwight D. Eisenhower. How long do you see yourself serving? I hope to spend my entire career in the Army. Why do you want to attend West Point? To devote my mind, body, and energy to a greater purpose. Yeah, don't say that. Why not? It just sounds canned. It's not a lie. No, I'm not saying it's a lie. I'm just saying it sounds rehearsed. Look, if they ask that question, you can say whatever you want, but just don't say anything that you wrote beforehand. Okay, next question. <laughs> Can I come in? Of course. <clears throat> I, uh, I'm really happy to see you. You are? I was a little afraid you wouldn't believe me when I said you could come over anytime. Oh, well, uh, I am now. Good. Ah, uh, look, uh, you might not know this, but I was your secret Santa. <laughs> I guessed. And, uh, it, it seemed like my gift really upset you, so I thought, you know, maybe I should get you a different gift. But then I thought you didn't like it at the time that you thought that I bought you the paint, so I thought maybe I should ask first. So, you know, if, if I can get you another gift, and, and, and what, if so, if, if I can't. Gavin, I loved your gift. But it made you cry. Well, maybe that's not such a bad thing. I just... I never want to make you cry. Well, everyone has to cry sometimes. And if anyone's gonna make me cry, I want it to be you. What does that mean? It means... So does this mean I don't need to get you another gift? Well, by my count, you've already got me two gifts. Which two? The necklace and the registration. Oh, uh, well, I didn't do the registration as a gift. You know, that wasn't for you. I did that because of you. Well, I loved it anyway. But if you really wanted to get me something else, you could take me to dinner. <laughs> I'd love to. What do you think we should get? Like pancakes? For dinner? Well, I'm just saying, you know, get out of our way, world. All right, I'm down. Breakfast for dinner it is. Right. But maybe also tacos. I don't know. I'd, I'd like to have options. Oh, boy. So what exactly did she see? I don't know. Okay, she just said that she saw us together at the fundraiser. Well, she should have knocked. People used to knock. Why are you getting so upset? Look, it's just Vera. She's not going to tell anyone. It's none of her business. Okay, well, she knows. So it doesn't really matter whether or not it's her business. Are you embarrassed? Look, that wasn't the most embarrassing thing that happened at the fundraiser. Oh my god, are you seriously back on this? Okay, I'm sorry that my speech wasn't as exciting and radical as yours, but at least I was saying something that I actually believe. I did believe it! I'm so sick and tired of you treating me like I'm a little kid playing activist. This stuff is serious! Yeah, I know that it's serious, okay? You're the one who's treating it like it's a big joke. You don't even take our relationship seriously. What, because I want to keep it private? Yeah, I don't want it to be private anymore. What? I... 
I want to tell people about us. I want to tell our friends about us. I want to, I want to take you out on dates. I want to tell my mom about you. I, I want to change my fucking Facebook profile. Is that really too much to ask? I, I just, I don't... You don't want people to know that we're dating, okay? And I get it. I get that you just don't want the spotlight on this, but I don't know. It, you just, you're just too edgy to be dating somebody who's, who's reasonable. Reasonable? That's right. You're so fucking reasonable, and I'm the one that's crazy. <sighs> Look, it's... It's just not like that, okay? It's... It's just not like that. I don't care what it's like. Alright? I can't do this anymore. I'm out. Ow. Yeah, I, I, I just I need a break from this. From us. Wait, we can work this out. Are you going to tell people about us? Then no. No, we can't figure it out. And I'm out. What about the campaign? Yeah, we we can still run the campaign together. We don't we don't have to be dating to do that. Right? Yeah, we can do that. Okay, so I will see you at the next campaign meeting then, I guess. Okay, but you've been perfectly fine these last 17 times. Why should the 18th be any different, okay? Oh, what if I'm colorblind like that awful movie? <gasps> Little Miss Sunshine, it is not awful. It is a masterpiece, and I am so sorry I ever made you watch it, okay? Okay, you're not colorblind. And even if you were, is that even a disqualifier for the army? I don't think so, no. Okay, so then what are you so worried about right now? Because you can't practice for it, you can't study for it, it just happens. And it could ruin everything. It is not going to ruin everything. It could. <sighs> okay, do you want to go down to Avalon Park and pick out a coin? What? It sounds like you could use a little luck right now. <sighs> no. No coin, no luck. Never wrong, Chris. See, I told you. It's useless. Oh, I'm sure it's not that bad. Oh, it's terrible! And the client wants it by next week, and I'm supposed to be working all day tomorrow and Thursday, and I'm going door-to-door -door Wednesday, and I haven't even started my summer reading, and it's just- it's too much, okay? It's just too much! It'll be okay. No, it isn't! And you just saying that isn't gonna make it better. Let me help! I don't need- you. How? Uh... I could, uh... I'll I'll take your door to door on Wednesday and then that'll give you time to work on this, right? But you hate canvassing. I do, uh, but I want to help. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. 